Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you um, another video from Jerusalem. And I want to talk today just for a few minutes um, about the whole topic of publishing under a pen name um, and how you can actually do that through Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, better known as KDP. Uh, so the first thing to say about publishing under a pen name in KDP is that it's legitimate. So um, if you're concerned that you have to do something that breaks uh, Amazon's terms of service or you're gonna get kicked off the platform for uh, being discovered to have used a pen name or whatever, uh, that's not the case. You can just do it basically. Um, it's above board, uh, it's in accordance with Amazon KDP's TOS and you don't have, um, you don't need to worry about that. Um, so publishing under KDP and Amazon is pretty straightforward. Uh, you go ahead and just, you know, go into your KDP account in the conventional means. But when you're going through the process of setting up your books on your bookshelf, um, you want to put the author as your pseudonym, as your pen name, um, and then go through with the rest of the publishing process. Um, another thing to point out is that after you publish your book, um, you can go ahead and create an Amazon Author Central uh, property for that pen name. And then you can later go ahead and associate all the pen names uh, authorship, your authorship with that um, Amazon Author Central property uh, so that it looks kind of more um, cohesive and legit, you know, to the outside world. Um, that's, that's basically KDP. Obviously, Amazon knows who you are. Uh, you have to use a real name to get paid, um, but that process works fine. So on my uh, bookshelf on Amazon, I have um, a book that I wrote under my actual name. Um, and I have one book I wrote under a pen name. Um, and when I go into reports um, and I pick up royalties for both and it works really seamlessly. So I just want to also speak for a few minutes about why I um, really, really support pen names. So people do use pen names for um, a variety of reasons. Um, one of those is that for instance, um, the writing material that might not be congruous, let, congruous, let's say, with their professional image. And that's something a lot of authors do. Um, I did mine just to kind of the pen name book I did. For me, it was a nice chance to be able to uh, test how a book was going to be received uh, without putting my name on it and um, putting a bit of distance between me and the readers. Um, and that was that was personally my main reason. And also, if you're writing on a controversial topic or you're taking an opinion on an issue, um, it just gives you, again, that kind of distance from uh, both readers who really enjoy the work and readers who hate the work. Um, so that's another thing. I guess that's kind of a safety concern. But I think the biggest uh, the biggest reason I support pen name publishing is that it allows authors who otherwise um, wouldn't be able to get their authorship out into the world uh, to do that. So I'm talking about whistleblowers, victims of abuse, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, people with stories to tell that um, if their families, let's say, were to see their work or read their stories, um, or if they used actual names, uh, they could be sued for defamation. Um, so I think that those are really, really important use cases for pen name publishing. That's why some authors do it. Um, and, you know, I'm not necessarily, I don't have strong thoughts about Amazon, uh, but I actually think it's really wonderful um, that their publish, self-publishing service, uh, KDP, makes it easy to be, uh, to actually get your pen named, pseudonymed uh, authorship out there in the world, get it to readers, get feedback. So uh, those are my thoughts about pen name publishing. <laughs> and if you're interested in receiving uh, more videos uh, from me, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.